Hi, my name is Tiago Duarte and welcome to another video tutorial here at TaylorBeats. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can fix phase issues in stereo tracks. Before we start this tutorial, I would like to ask you to subscribe and activate the notification so that you know when I upload new videos. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Also consider supporting this channel by buying one of the products at TaylorBeats.pt or become a premium member and you will have access to exclusive tutorials, to the full tutorials that I do here for the channel and also you will be able to download sample packs, project files and access to the Q&A sessions. So with that out of the way let's go ahead and jump to Pro Tools. So what happened was that I was mixing this, this uh, beat that I have here and this is the beat. As you can see, this is the track that I was working that I published on Monday. And what happened was that I had this hi-hat pattern and let me uh, set up the, so the project so that you can see what I was going through. And let's solo this. First, let's make a selection here. Mm. Maybe here should be enough. Okay, so it sounds nice. It's a normal hi-hat. You have a little bit more on the right than on the left, which is okay. And it's a stereo signal. The thing is that when I was mixing these on mono, we had this strange phase issue. And the way I solved this was uh, really, really a nice way to do it. I tried several different ways, but I couldn't find it, find the correct way to do it. And I think this is a really nice way for you to fix uh, um, phase issues in stereo tracks. And it's also a very important thing that you do your mono comp compatibility check so that you can, you make sure that your tracks sound really good in mono. And uh, let me see what I did. So what I what I did was I just select this track and then I came here and I did split into mono and I'm not sure if I do it it will do it again probably it did yes so we have this one and this one and this were the ones that I used for for my project but we can we can work with these ones here so if I mute this you see that we still we still have the same issue and um what you can do here, it's basically what I did here. I just add a trim module or a trim plugin and invert one of the phases. So let's go here, trim, mono. And uh, I didn't change the volume at all. I just click on this knob here, which is to change the phase. And now if I play it, you see we lost that kind of uh, phase problem in the sound. So let's do it without. You see this kind of, um, it looks like you are had adding a, a phaser to the hi-hat. And when you take this off, uh, or when you enable the, this, uh, or when you switch the phase, what happens is that the sound starts uh, behaving like a normal hi-hat. And the good thing about this is that when you go and when you switch off the imager, you still have the same perception of the hi-hat. That's why it's very important for you to always check your mono compatibility when you are mixing so that you don't come across these, uh, these issues here. And uh, let me disable the, the trim module that we just added. And as you can see, it sounds the same in stereo. Well, it's not exactly the same. It's a little bit of a difference, but uh, the difference is so minor that uh, it's not even noticeable. But when you do it in mono, you get a big difference. And this is plays a big role when uh, <clears throat> 
you are trying to to have your tracks translated well in every type of speakers and every type of combinations of um, stereo and mono uh, signals and uh, yeah that's why it's really really important for you to always check your mono compatibility so that you can make sure that your track is playing well in every single um, combination let's say that after that what i did was okay i wanted to combine these tracks again and there there is no combine into stereo at least in the pro tools first version i don't know in the pro version but in this one there is no combine for instance here we can split in mono but we can't combine into stereo i think yeah so what i did was just i created a new auxiliar track that you can see here so let's do that new stereo track auxiliar and let's call this hi-hats two and let's call or no i had one version one just so that i know it's a different one and then i just routed these to a different bus for instance nine and ten and the input of that new bus i routed to the <clears throat> to the um, bus 9 and 10 so that we can have control here over the volume and everything this was not necessarily uh, uh, it's not really necessary unless you want to do some processing on the hi-hats which i did here as you can see this is the final hi-hat one uh, auxiliary track and i did here some some eq i just applied a, a low pass filter and if i copy this This is what it sounds. It's it makes it a little bit more. Uh, it it cuts a little bit of the low frequencies so that it fits better in the track. But uh, again, uh, isolated, it might not sound the best. This might sound the best, but uh, when you are mixing, you don't want the best in isolation. You want the best of everything combined. So. Yeah, in this case, I wanted to add some EQ to this hi hat, and that's why I added this extra auxiliar track. But if you didn't want to do any kind of mixing, you just wanted to correct the phase issues, that will be fine too. So let's see now with the mono compatibility, and let's see how it would sound without the trim. You see, trying to mix this into a track will be really annoying. And when you switch the phase, now you have a real hi-hat or a hi-hat that sounds like an, a hi-hat. And uh, this is the beauty of always checking your mono compatibility. And it's a very important thing when you are doing your mixing because you want your tracks to fully replicate or to fully represent or you want a a good representation across all the type of systems that you have headphones speakers cell phones like this where uh, actually this one is has two speakers it's a stereo speaker but my other cell phone it's not a stereo speaker so it's a mono speaker you will have several differences in between devices of the speaker configuration and speaker arrangement so you want to try to <clears throat> fix all the issues that you have when you are mixing either in stereo and also in mono and that's it guys this was a short video just to let you know about this uh, this uh, way you can fix your mono compatibilities and uh, i found this way it worked really nice uh, of course there probably the, there are other ways probably other plugins that can do this for you without you going the trouble of adding splitting the tracks and everything 
But um, this was the way I found out with the limitations that I have in Pro Tools first. And I hope you learned something. If you are new here to this channel, subscribe and activate the notification so that you know when I upload new videos. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and consider supporting this channel by buying one of the products at dailybits.pt or become a premium member and you will have access to the full videos and you will be able to download project files and sample packs and uh, have access to the Q&A sessions where I get all of your questions and answer them so that you can accelerate your learning. That's it. My name is Siak Duarte and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.